China, China's in, in enrollment and the assignment policies. The China's the children enrollment and graduation mm, graduate assignment system also were changed to reflect the more closely the, pers the personal needs of the modernization. By 1996, the state was responsible for drafting the enrollment plan, which took into the account future personal demand, the needs to recruit students, and from the out outlying regional and the needs of the trades and profession with the our adverse working condition. Moreover, a certain number of the graduates to be trained of our people, liberation army were included in the state's enrollment plan. In most cases, enrollment in the higher education institutions at the employees requested was extended as a supplementary to the state student enrollment plan employers were to pay a percentage of training fees and students were to fulfill contractual obligation to the employee after the graduation the small number of the students who attend college and universities at their own expense could be enrolled in addition to the those in the state plan account Accompanying this change in the enrollment practices were reforms adopted in 1986 in the faculty appointment system which ended the era iron rice bowl employment system and they permitted the college and university to decide which academy department which academy major and the how, how many teachers that they needed teachers in institution of the higher learning were higher on the basis usually for two to four years at a time the teacher position available on basis over teaching assistant lecture associate professor and professor the system was tested in eight major universities in the Beijing and Shanghai before it was instituted national nationwide at the end of the 1985 university president headed group in the charge of the appointing professors lecturer and the teaching assistant according to their academic levels and the teaching abilities and a moral regional wage system geared to the difficult different job levels was inaugurated in universities and the college was with a surplus profession and researches our advice to grant them appropriate academic entitled and encourage them to work for their current pay in the schools of the higher learning and where they were needed the new system was to be extended to schools of all kinds and other in the education department within the two years under the 1985 reform all graduates were assigned jobs by the states and a central government placement agencies told the schools where to send graduates by 1985 teaching how university and few other universities were ex experimenting with the system that the allowing graduates to accept the job offer or to look for their own position for example 19 1900 Tsinghua University graduated in 1985 12, 1200 went on the graduate school 48 lock for the their their own jobs and the remainder were the assigned jobs for the school affair consultancy consultation with the students the college students and the post graduate scheduled to graduate in 1986 were assigned primarily to work in the forestry education textile and the armament industries graduates still were needed in a civil engineering computer science and finance scholarship and a loan system in July 1986, the State Council announced that the stipend system for the university and the college student would be replaced with a new scholarship and loan system. The new system to be tested in selection selected institution during the 1986-1987 academic year was designed to help students who could not cover their own living expenses but who, st who studied hard, obeyed study of state laws and observed discipline code. Students eligible for financial aid were to be able to apply to the schools and the China's Industrial and Commercial Bank for Low Interest Loan. Three categories of students eligible for ads were established to stop students encouraged to attend all around excellence students specializing in education, agriculture, forestry, supports, and marine navigation, and students willing to work in the poor, remote, and border region or under the harsh under the harsh conditions such as the minimum and engineering in addition free tuition and board were to be offered at a military schools and the graduates were required to join army for at least five years in relevant position for those who worked in an approved rural position after the graduate graduation students loans would be paid off by his or her employer such as school in a lamp sum and the money was to be prepaid to the employer by the students through five years of the payroll reduction study 
abroad in addition to loans and other means of the raising educational qualities particularly in science was to send students abroad to study a large number of chinese students study studied in the soviet union before the educational links and other cooperative programs with the soviet union were severed in the late 1950s see sino soviet split in the 1960s and 1970s china has continued to send a small number of the students abroad primarily to european universities in october 1978 chinese students began to arrive in the united states their number of accelerated after the normalization of the relation between the two countries in january 1979 a policy is consistent with the modernization needs although figure vary more than 36000 students including 700 7000 self supporting students those who paid their own way receiving scholarship from host institution or received help from the relatives and foreign friends studied in 14 countries between the 1978 and 1984 of the this total 78% were technical personnel spent abroad for advanced study and as of mid of the 1986 there was 15000 chinese scholars and graduate in american universities compared with the total of 19000 scholars sent between the 1979 and 1980 1983 chinese students sent to united states generally were not typically undergraduate or graduate student but were made career scientist scientist often 35 to 45 year of age seeking advanced training in their areas of the specialization of often they were individual of the exceptional ability who occupied responsible position in chinese universities and research institution fewer than the 15% of the earliest arrival were degree candidates nor nearly all the visitor visiting scholars were in the scientific fields